Indian devices market has a huge potential. As we know, last year also, last financial year also, it was 130 million smartphones which was shipped. And smartphone sales every year is continuously growing. And this is the market which will take overall digital transformation initiative or dig digital India initiative to the next level. So smartphones are going, are poised to be grow very well. And Panasonic is uh, poised to take and enter into this uh, whole story in a much, much uh, wider perspective or bigger perspective. Few things uh, I have noticed, we have noticed over a period of time and Panasonic is very upbeat uh, to bring those into our products and we have done those also in our things. One consumer is very much uh, caring about at this moment the processor because speed of the processor defines the user experience. Second thing is the camera because nowadays mobile phone camera has become the primary source of the photography. So camera experience is really, really required is on a very big manner in any mobile devices. Third is the battery experience and Panasonic has launched in last year three to four products with the 5000 mAh battery. So battery experience is really important because nobody wants to charge the phone during the day at least when he is in office for 12 or 14 hours. So right now we are doing SKD, uh, basically assembly of our phones into the India in our Greater Noida manufacturing place. And now uh, as government is moving into the phased manner toward the CKD, starting with the charger, ch starting with the batteries and the earphones and moving into the PCVA manufacturing. So Panasonic is poised to take this journey and we are very uh, upbeat about this that we have to take this journey and Panasonic being a global manufacturing uh, overall uh, is very big. So I think we are ready to take this poised journey. As far as online segment is concerned, the customer is very youth and customer is uh, looking for a product which is a performance based and which has something unique to talk about. And Panas as a brand Panasonic, we have a focus on the online business and we have products at this moment also around six smartphones which we are selling in the online online portals and these online uh, products also we are selling into the offline space so i think at this moment for panasonic what we see our our 60 percent of our sales come from the online channel and 40 percent come from the offline channel and in times to come online sales or online contribution to the overall sales is going to grow uh, I think government uh, has started giving uh, some uh, incentives as far as if you are first first phase was basically the SKD assembly into the India. So now it is the CKD and the component ecosystem should be there. So government uh, at this moment I think is helping everyone to bring the component ecosystem into the India. And third thing which is really important once we have design and development of phones into the India then export of the phones from the India. So there are a lot of export benefits also which government is going to give and already giving to the all handset manufacturers. So I think uh, things are in place as far as mobile manufacturing is concerned in India. 4G feature phone uh, will really help to consume data and consume uh, digital India initiative of the government in a big way and it, this will help to connect rural uh, India or the tier 3, tier 4 towns customers in a bigger manner to the government, initi uh, government initiatives of digital India. But as far as brand Panasonic is concerned, we are not into the feature phone segment. Uh, but of course, when consumer have a, have a greater experience of digital content or social content on the feature phone, they really want to upgrade over a period of time to the smartphone. So we are looking for that big up, bigger opportunity as far as smartphone entry segment or mid segment is concerned. Every uh, of course, there are many brands which are at this moment is operating into the mobile phone industry or the handset industry. So far as uh, for each one of them has to have their own story, what they really want to achieve and what type of target audience they want to reach out there. If that journey or that understanding is clear as far as Panasonic is concerned, Panasonic is concerned, we are very, very clear that we want to be into the price bracket of 5,000 rupees to the 15,000 rupees price bracket. And we want to target the youth and young customers of India through our uh, experience of the battery and experience of the camera and experience of the processor and overall uh, experience of Panasonic mobility to the end consumer. So everybody has to create their own uh, path for this uh, competitive market, in this competitive market. We have a plan for next three years. In, uh, in the next three years, we are targeting around three to four percent market share in the smartphones market starting this year. So exactly because we, we work on the long term basis. So the plan which we have prepared for the three year plan for the mobility market in Indian uh, at this moment. I think uh, uh, first of all thanks for the ET, ET Telecom Conclave. I think it gives a great opportunity to interact with the industry, industry leader not only from the mobile phone uh, perspective but overall perspective of uh, uh, digital uh, transformation and overall data security. And I think uh, mobility is as an industry overall. It's not only mobile phones but mobility as an industry is a really uh, backbone of the Indian economy going forward and it has to be 
it has it has it has a focus from the overall government and every stakeholder as far as this industry is concerned i think these uh, tie ups as far as operators are concerned they give lot of benefit to the end consumer because these days telcos are offering data and uh, data and voice uh, basically data bundling plan to the end consumer when a consumer buy the uh, respective operator sim so they get lot of benefit for 6 months one year as far as their overall billing pattern is concerned and as far as your second question is the app ecosystem so app ecosystem is these days is very very important because here most of the users nowadays nowadays they are changing their uh, behavior or pattern from watching everything on the maybe tablet or from the tv to the mobile phones so app ecosystem plays a very very crucial role and panasonic if i say panasonic so we are building a very big app ecosystem which will be in house to the panasonic and it will provide a very unique experience to the end consumer also